Okay, farmsteads over here being raided. I'll probably get a mission from the lord of the place to kill the bandits who did it. Eventually, you know, the uh, masterless men uh, get powerful enough, as you've seen, and they uh, get a wee little bit grumpy. I should be more than capable of taking out any of the groups. Okay, it's half done. Okay, good to see you. Any tasks? I heard that the, my village sky far by was raided by some masterless men a while ago. I would appreciate it very much if you could track down these, scoun uh, track down these scoundrels. The village leader put, gave a vague description of the leader, and they've put a bounty together. If you, can, uh, if you can hunt them down and destroy them, I'll most certainly be very happy about it. Aye, I'll do that. Very good. The band may not have lingered long in the area, but chances are that they will be spotted by, uh, by other travelers on the road. No, that's not them. They're just thieves. This place over here is also after being looted. Maybe... I think this might have happened after the other place. So they might still be over here. Also, I do re recognize the fact I forgot to sell off my gear and buy more food. I'm just going to check over here first, then I'll pop back to the other side of the river and see if they're over here. I'm wait up here for a moment. Just till daybreak. Very chance I'll miss someone at night. Okay, let's just wander over this way. It's late night. It'll soon be dawn. Ah, hidden space bar will actually stop your character moving. Good to know. Ah, there's a snake in the eye. Actually, no, it's not. It's not. Here's yet another... ...guy I don't think I've ever met before. God damn, how many Jarls do they have? Because I have to get good reputation with all of them. It appears that either the masterless man in question pops over to here, or uh, they went back over to this side. Well, I did see that place burning over there after being looted. I figured maybe it was some other faction. Oh, sorry, not other faction. Um, yeah, it could have been a different group or whatever. So, <laughs> all right. God damn, I'm tired. I'm going to see if I can grab another berserker. Because it would be very nice if I could, because they are they are a very good unit. Got a fair bit of health. Um, they... I don't know, they seem to have better survivability than other units. Um, that cost roughly the same amount. Okay, over here. Oh, wait, let's save. Okay, 
have to load. Sorry if this annoys you, but uh, you know, if I'm gonna do something, I want to, you know, I want to try and get a berserker. I want to get a berserker. Make a donation. Drag me that bit more. Nice. But they're called Ulf Nehednar. Is that a separate thing to a berserker? Because I'm actually remember one was in a bandit group and looked a lot like a berserker. They are separate to a berserker. They're actually archers. They cost as much a berserker, though. And they have 80 hit points. That's more than a berserker. They're fantastic strength. They have not bad power strike. Their power throw is a bit lower than you think it would be considering their archers. You think it would be the other way around. Higher the power throw and strike. Doesn't matter. They've also 60 athletics. Not bad. They got some riding skill, but they they don't use horses. Okay. I like them. Parmi is wondering if paying the 300 would boost my people's morale or what but I, I don't want to pay him to kill Christian clerics you know that would probably reduce my reputation with said with said clerics so no an easy way of probably getting rep with the pagans is also like you know if their priests get attacked swoop in and help them out But there's a fair chance of you like, scaring off whoever is going to attack them. So you have to get lucky and, you know, them being attacked as you come up, as you as you turn up on scene. Hmm. Let's see if we can... F Ooh, here, here they are. Let's save. 46 sailors! A band leader. Four slave drivers. Three slave hunters, a veteran slave hunter, a slaver chief, and 46 sl sailors. What a combination. Like, I, I can understand uh, 70 ruffians, but how did this combination come together? Uh, this must be, your, uh, must be your unlucky day, mate. We're just about the worst people you could run into in these parts. For me, you're nothing more than wa walking wa money bags. Jarl Halfdan Agnetarsson uh, offered me good money for your heads. A bounty hunter. I hate bounty hunters. Kill him. Kill him now. Okay, we're equal in um, things. Also, because, you know, the Ulfnar. Ooh. Um, Ulfuddin, sorry. I was figuring they have high athletics. They'll probably outpace everyone. I'm gonna have them follow me. They did have their shields up, so they weren't gonna go too, too beyond everyone. But I don't want anyone getting picked off because they decided to sprint ahead. Okay. Yeah, charge. Actually, if I have them charging, the archers mightn't stay back and arch. Then again, you never know. Come on, use your sword, damn it! See? Good idea. Okay, I lost the free holder. Ooh, I'm now level 14. This was well worth the fight. Okay. Killed a quarter of their forces. Half the forces. God damn. Ha! I actually got a crit on that guy. Still a few guys back. Never mind. They're dead. 
he's still alive and is not only going to get away, I don't have nearly enough, uh, you know, speed to catch up to him. And regrettably, nor do any of my troops. So 16 are going to get away. Um, and I find enemies on the world map are typically too, uh, like after they've routed, are just a bit too fast for me to catch. But then again, they're typically in a bigger bunch. So I might be able to grab them. Oh, sorry, typically they're in a smaller bunch. This time it's bigger, so I might be able to grab them. There's a single dead guy on my team. Single wounded. I think I did pretty goddamn well. The dead guy better not have been a berserker or one of the berserker archers. Both of them cost 60. Uh, uh, like both types. But the berserker and the art berserker archers both cost 60. So I can see this getting expensive if I get too many of them. It was, a, it was a freeholder that, that died. It was a sailor that got wounded. We'll take a bandit leader and we'll take sailors. I'm taking some loot, damn it. And they got piss all. Okay, I'm still going to take some of these because I need to. You know, make back some extra cash. Okay, yeah, I'll catch him if I'm given enough time to. I beg you, please leave us alone. Um. Oh. Since they asked so nicely. Very well, we'll leave you in peace this time. Do not pose us again. I feel like being nice. Anyway, I think they've learned their lesson. I don't have to, you know, chase down the rest of them for, to, to complete the mission or anything. I just have to, you know, break their group in, um, first time around. And seriously, that went well. I like thought I was going to have a bit more difficulty with that, but no. Yeah, this was the only mission I had. I kept thinking I had another one to do. That's strange. There we go. Uh, ooh, we're on 29 now. Two off. Oh. Good job, pal and I. It looks like you were able to track down the bandits and show them what happens to those who destroy someone else's property. Here is your reward. 1,050 coins. It is well earned. I am, I am very grateful. Any other tasks? Oh, fuck yeah! You probably know that I'm the Lord of the Village. Oh, oh, who hell stat? Bye. However, it has been months since House that Bye has delivered the taxes and rents due, uh, due, uh, due me as its rightful lord. Apparently, the populace there has grown unruly lately, and I need someone to go there and remind them of their obligations, and to persuade them if they won't listen. If you go there and raise the taxes they owe me, I'll grant you one-fifth of everything you collect. A fair officer, we have an agreement. And now I'm, he's on 30. Uh, welcome, News Pal and I. I will entrust this matter to you. Remember, those peasants are foxy beasts. They'll make every excuse not to, not to pay me my rightful incomes. Do not let them fool you. Okay. Let's pop over here now. And this, I, I love these missions because they're not altogether that hard. I have seen some of the consequences of a place disliking you significantly. Um, they'll actually attack you multiple times to stop you taking the taxes, but it's never and really that dangerous. Maybe it gets worse the worse the city, the, the town doesn't like you. Maybe, you know, they actually start using real weapons rather than wooden staffs. Maybe they actually wear armor rather than peasant clothing. I don't know. Um, but it's an easy quest. Gives you a ton of cash. You, you're probably going to get at least a grand out of it. And you get a fair bit of rep with the guy.
It, it's lovely. If only they were the only quest they gave. Uh, there's two more coins. So I got even more reputation. I think I just got uh, two more. So, characters, the character is still on heroic. And my renown is now at 526. Those have grown quite greatly. Wasn't it? I was going to say, I thought it was at 400, you know, and 7, you know, on dots round there. From 400 to 410, maybe 400. Yeah, between there, or maybe at the most, like 417. But I doubt that could be. Maybe it must have been 500 and something, you know, when I checked earlier. Because there's no way it jumped up that quickly. Ooh, th these people are opposed to me. Minus 10. Ooh. Collect start collecting taxes. Ignore them and continue. Okay. Gotta go s slap some people around. Hmm. It's kind of strange that it was faster than these guys. Okay, it's so only my champions with me. Not really a reassuring thing. I prefer if I had the berserkers with me. Ooh, nice jumps. Hmm. Well done for not going down in one shot. Okay, come on. Hmm. Maybe I'm underestimating them, but they seem to have more health than I expect. Twacked him, twacked him. Come on, just go down, would you? There, they're down. Your quick action and strong arm have successfully put down the revolt. Surely anyone with a mind to rebel against you will think better of it after this. And new. We'll go and deal with these. I'm going to go this way. It'll be quicker than going through the village. Dogs barking. A bit distracting. Why aren't they growing anything in their fields? Maybe they're leaving this field to follow for a while. For those who don't know, there was a uh, a system before where it's safety of four fields. You would have three fields working and actually getting you resources, you know, growing you stuff. And you would have one field left to rest. Because if you grow things too much, then you actually take all the vitamins out, the nu sorry, all the nutrients out of the soil and... Um, well, then nothing will grow. It's really bad. So, they will leave one to follow. Eventually, I think instead of leaving it to follow, they would have it grow a certain plant that somehow made it, you know. I, I honestly don't remember this. I, I vaguely remember this in history books. Um, like, they will grow like marigolds or something and somehow that wouldn't just it'd suck up all new, you know, have the same effect as just constantly having it grow things. It would, you know, somehow replenish it or something. I it would somehow be help the soil. I I have no idea. I don't I, I don't even remember if this is actually how it works or what how they thought it worked, and they were wrong. I I you know I have no idea. I just remember they let some f the things follow for a while, and then they would may also have grown marigolds in them instead at, after a certain stage. Uh, this was in England. Um, beyond beyond that, I have no idea. I don't even really remember the full details on this thing. But as you can see, they don't like paying their taxes, and as such, are going to try and cover me once again. This is something I know for certain. 